PowerPoint 2010 makes it really easy for us to insert sounds into our presentation. This could be perhaps songs that play in the background or just a little sound effect that goes along with maybe an animation or something that's happening on the slide. Let's have a look. So to insert a sound into my slide presentation here, I'm going to use the Insert tab on the ribbon and I'm going to find audio here and I'm going to click on the audio button. It'll ask me to search through to find the audio on my computer and there's all sorts of different types that are supported. And you can see down here where it says files of type, I can see the list of all the different audio that is included, popular ones being like an MP3 or a WAV file. So here on my desktop I have a little file, I'll click on that and I'll press insert. And I'll place it into my current slide. And it comes in as this little icon, this little sound speaker thing. And I can actually click and drag to move it around if I want to. I'll just sort of place it here in the center. And you'll see when I click on it, I get a little button here where I can go ahead and I can play the sound if I want to. And I can pause that. And I can go in here and I can adjust the volume if I need to. And I can scrub around the different times if I want to. But I'll just sort of rewind that. But You'll see if I go ahead and say preview my show with F5 here, it'll go ahead and take me to that slide with my little sound icon there, but it's waiting for me to click on it. And you'll see if I want to put my mouse over top, I get a little slider here where I can go ahead and I can press play. And I can go ahead and play that. And I'll just sort of pause that there. And I can go ahead and I can adjust the volume and so on and so forth. But maybe I want to play automatically or all these different things. I can go ahead and I can set those options and I'm just going to go ahead and press escape. So to do that I'm going to click on this little sound icon and here at the top I get my audio tools and I'm going to go to playback. Playback lets me go in here and I can go ahead and I can do things like I can uh, apply a fade in here and I can also trim the audio. So if I click trim audio here it loads in my audio and I can go in and I can choose the start point and the end point for this audio clip by clicking and dragging these little markers around. So I can say it starts here and ends here. And I can say OK and it'll trim that file. I'm just going to say cancel. I don't need to trim it in this case. And I can also say have it fade in for the first couple seconds. Maybe the last couple seconds it fades out. Also here I can set the initial volume. So if it's set to medium, high or low volume I can choose that. I can also choose how this starts. Now by default it's set to start on click, so it's waiting for me to click before it does actually play the sound. But if I come in here I can say have it just play automatically, which means as soon as I go preview my show, it'll automatically start playing that sound as soon as I get to the slide. And I'll press escape there. That's fine. I'll go back and I'll click on my icon here and back to playback. So there's also under start, there's play across all slides reason it says that is if I have this play automatically and I'm previewing my show, my sound will play, but as soon as I click to go to the next slide, it automatically stops the sound. So I'll press escape here. If I want this to just play continuously, I'll click the icon, go to playback, and choose start, and then play across all slides. So now when I preview, my sound will go ahead and start. And as I go from slide to slide, the sound keeps playing. So I'll press escape there. And I'll click the sound again. I'll go back to playback. So that's fine. I can also say just loop the sound until I stop it. Because by default, once it gets to the end of the sound file, it just stops playing. So maybe I'll tell it to loop. And also, if it does stop, I can say just rewind itself after it's done playing. So I don't have to do that manually if I need to play it again. I can also tell it to hide itself during the show. So if that's on and I go ahead and play the show, you can see that I don't actually see that icon show up. I'll go ahead and press cancel. And there you go. And if I need to delete the sound, I can click on it and I can press delete and that removes the sound completely. So there you have working with sound. Now you'll want to make sure you do sort of a dry run with your PowerPoint presentation when you are using sounds and make sure that the volume of your sounds are consistent across your entire presentation.